The Mets have gone 15 scoreless innings since they last played at a run in the eighth of game two in Atlanta. You can feel the tension beginning to mount now because any one run could win this game. And if it's Atlanta that scores it, the Mets season could be brought to a halt. Who had passed him upstairs one and two. Bob, I've always felt that if you just match your starting pitching against the Braves starting pitching in a seven game series, you're going to lose. You've got to help your pitchers. A little broken bat flare and Boone's got it. You've got to help your pitchers by scoring some runs for them, playing great defense, because they are the underdog. I don't care which staff you match this Braves pitching staff against, they're going to be the underdogs. Reed angry with himself. Felt he didn't get a good rip at that one two pitch. As we told you, he's not a bad hitter. Neither he nor Smoltz goes up there as a formality. They're looking to hit. Well, it's going to take someone special to step up and take over this ball game, whether it be with one swing and a bat hitting the ball out or someone like Ricky starting a rally. But so far, he has not been able to catch up with John Smoltz's fastball. I mean, Smoltz has been able to paint the outside corner with Ricky and also the inside corner. And he's the one thing he's been able to do is keep the ball up in the strike zone on Ricky, right up there. And that's a weakness for Ricky. He doesn't like that high fastball. And after popping to Klesko, he's now one for 13 in this series. John O'Reilly. Next Saturday, tune in as NBC presents a double dip of baseball specials. First at 2 Eastern, we bring you the 25 most significant and influential moments in baseball history. As MasterCard presents the Major League Baseball All-Century Team in Part 2 of the doubleheader of baseball specials. The 25 greatest moments in baseball history followed by the All-Century Team next Saturday just hours before game one of the World Series. All the like just about everybody else is hitless. Bob it may appear to the people at home that John Smoltz is basically just throwing a fastball but he's using movement with his fastball and every once in a while he's going inside just enough to keep these hitters honest. So he's working using the entire plate to keep them off balance. Drills it to deep right, and this one is on its way and gone. There's the breakthrough the Mets have been looking for. Zoni to the mound. Well, if you're going to watch where this pitch ends up. It's down a little bit, which is where Olerud li likes the ball, but it's also in the middle of the plate. Watch the location of the pitch. See where Perez is? Almost in the middle of the plate, and Olerud puts a charge into it. And when two pitchers are dominating the opposition as these two pitches have been it's usually one swing of the bat or some effort by a base dealer or someone who gets someone on the board first a strike to Alfonso a rare mistake by Smoltz and Olerud crushed it he had been able to stay out of the middle of the plate like you say, you make a mistake, the guy can still foul that pitch off, but Olerud did not foul it off, and the Mets have a one to nothing lead. One and two. That'll make the seats. So Allrood 
who hit 19 homers during the regular season and had been just two for 13 in this series smacks one into the bullpen for a one nothing lead. Evens two and two. Reed now with the slimmest of advantages to work with. Full count. Terry Mulholland. Who has warmed up several times but hasn't appeared yet in this series, getting ready again. And the 3 2 pitch to Alfonso. Got him. Second time Alfonso has fanned tonight. And the fifth strikeout of the game for Smoltz, but more importantly, Olaru.